Speaking of stars, Sea of Stars. Yep, stars. Sea of Stars. Again, I have no idea what's going on with this. I just saw the screenshots down here, and that was it. Uh, yeah, this is a indie RPG. Uh, I don't, I don't think the company is Japanese, but I don't have any idea. But it's definitely inspired by old school JRPGs, SNES JRPGs, such as Chrono Trigger. Um, the art style looks very Chrono, Chrono Trigger esque, and the combat looks very Chrono Trigger esque. But it has sort of flavors from other things. It has mm -hmm. like action commands in the combat, like Mario RPG slash Paper Mario. Uh, yep. And there's like a. It works differently than Octopath, but there's like a boost. There's a boost system in okay. the game as well, like Octopath. But again, it works quite differently from the okay. way it does in Octopath. Um, and there's this like weakness system. Uh, I mean, not quite a weakness system, but when enemies are charging up like special attacks, they'll have like certain like icons pop up, and if you hit the icon, the the icons, you know. Um, correspond to certain types of attack certain types of attacks and if you hit all the icons you like interrupt that yeah the, attack that, that the enemy is doing this is so, all this is all to me pretty standard kind of yeah, JRPG I mean, it's, stuff it's <laughs> turn turn base rpg it's all standard type stuff hit the hit the um, elemental weakness do this turn you know it's it's all seeming pretty straightforward what i would expect And that did Spoon? Did you freeze? Uh oh. Did I lose Spoon here? I may have lost Spoon. Okay, I lost Spoon. He froze in a really nice pose there, actually. I really like the pose. Alright, well, I'll just try and do my best on this one since Spoon froze. I'm not sure what's going on there. And I don't think my computer froze because I can see the stream. Okay. Well, this game reviewed quite well in 89. Is he? It's a little bit higher than Starfield. It looks like it just came out. It's on Game Pass from what Spoon told me before the stream started. And um, I mean, that's great. Obviously, being on Game Pass, you get to try it not necessarily for free, but you get access to it. I'd be interested to see what the price is for this game. Um, I'm not sure what the price is. I'm going to actually verify that. Sea of Stars. Let's see. I don't know how much this game is. Be interested to see if it's like a full sixty dollar thing. So it it's it's like it looks like the game itself is thirty five bucks, which is a good deal. And there's a ten percent discount. Uh, the game came out. Oh, the game came out this week. So this game came out uh, on the twenty eighth, and it's got like a ten percent discount. I know Spoon's messaging me right now. I'm sure. Um, and there he and there it goes. It's it's gone. So. So it looks like Spoon's internet just dropped. Um, I'm going to give him some time to figure this out, but. Oh, wait, he's back. Okay, great. So I was just uh, simply talking about how the game was on Game Pass. Um, I talked about the price. It looks like it was $35 on Steam, though, which is quite cheap. Um, that's a good price. Did you? Oh, you're yeah, you're you're like buffering a bit there. Yeah, um it froze, it froze again for, for a sec for a sec and then i don't know i was just mentioning that it reviewed well so other than that i mean good review game good access uh yeah definitely a good price point there's a 10 percent discount right now too there's like a discount that's going on for a little bit so it's, it's not that cheap i think it's 35 35 is uh, i mean we're talking about in the context of games that are now going to be 70 dollars uh yeah, that's, that's definitely cheaper than that um i mean yeah and apparently the game's like 30 ish hours that's so, which is not that's so a great bad. price point uh, for the app for the play time that's a yeah. great price point for play time um yeah so it's not like 10 15 hour yeah, like game that's right? it's, it's relatively substantial it's true, yeah that's a great price point to me that's great 35 is great especially when you get a little discount and when it's on game pass even better yeah so it's on game it's on game pass um, i don't know any of the game mechanics, all the game mechanics you were telling me, I like the art here. Yeah, the art's really nice. The art is really um, cool. Um, 
apparently the dungeons have some like decent puzzles too um from what i've heard at least from the reviews um, definitely cool art here from what i've seen is there only these two characters you only play as these two characters you don't get like a party uh, uh, there's a party those are the okay. two main those are the two main mm. characters though i'm uh, there's wrong there's this there's this there's this, the, there's this person there's, right here there's a party yeah uh, i don't know how i i don't remember how many uh how many party members there are i don't think it's huge maybe it's like max at six i would think yeah. but i don't know maybe it's four or five i'm not sure um well this looks cool wow yeah I, uh, look at that yeah no the art the, the game looks really nice i love the, the graphics are awesome uh very cool okay it's on game pass so yeah it's on game pass worth worth checking out i think you know i know you love chrono triggers so this love is probably game. up uh, up your alley yeah. to at least at least try out on game pass um chrono triggers a great game probably maybe maybe the best who knows maybe the best but, yeah i haven't played it yet myself so i don't really have any comments on it but it's quite well liked in reviews though generally like you know there was chained echoes which came out last year which was another like a retro ish rpg and that game reviewed incredibly well uh these games tend to i would say well i guess it depends who you are but at least like for my taste and ghost's taste who i talk to about these things they tend to over review they tend to over perform in reviews from our taste that like mm -hmm. you know he played Chained Echoes, and he was like, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't, like, that game meta, like, you know, high 80s. Like, high 80s, like, like, this, like one, this one? Like this one did, and he was like, yeah, it's not that good. Like, it's good, but it's not, you know, incredible. Um, mm. Which is, like... Uh, I feel like the review scale keeps getting getting narrower and narrower and narrower, and it's kind of, like, bothering me. There, there was just so many games this year that just, like reviewed in the high 80s and low 90s metacritic and maybe it's because there's what so if, many so I mean, many outlets now and but i just feel like i do feel like at least some of these sites not necessarily like even the big ones like ign and GameSpot, but like i feel like they give out tens like way too easily they need to be a little more discerning with their tens hmm. but you know um well I mean, it could just be the case again where this year in particular is just a lot of good stuff. I mean, that could be the case. Could be the case. Could I mean, be a it, case it, made there. There there have been a lot of good games this year, but I think there are there are a few games in particular that reviewed in the high 80s that I just like super disagree with. Mhm. Mm uh Diablo 4 honestly being one of those that game is not a 9 game's not an 88 an, yeah an 88 or an 89 whatever the hell the meta was and same with Final Fantasy 16 like I know some people really loved it but I that game was like very meh in my opinion mm -hmm. like there are parts about it that were that were good but I don't think that game deserved like it just feels like every triple triple a release this year except for redfall which was just a dumpster fire pretty much met it in like the high 80s or low 90s and red, it's just like red wow fall. redfall omega lol i forgot redfall that game and, existed and Gollum, and Gollum. i forgot that wasn't really like a big triple a release but yeah redfall was See, a exactly like, you forgot redfall freaking i forgot like, about that's redfall. how that game came out and it was like well this oh dang i think his internet crapped out on him again hopefully he comes back there oh man that's a full that's a full drop again okay um gosh i don't know this is very abnormal for spoon to to have full drops like this in his new place this is like old place thing did spectrum find him i think spectrum found spoon they found out where spoon was and they said where do you think you're going and they dropped his internet i think that's going wrong i don't know i mean this was a c this was you can't you can't ex escape spectrum i mean obviously i know we were talking about game reviews and all that i don't know spoon keeps dropping the though i think let's just round out sea of stars since it's just me and everybody else here and spoon keeps dropping 
let's round out Sea of Stars. I, I, I'm going to try this game. I'm going to get this on Game Pass, uh, like, today. And I might play it Monday, actually. I need games to play on Monday to play for a bit. And I think I'll play this one for, like, maybe an hour or two just to start and see how it is. Definitely looks like an interesting game. Love the art style. And I'll definitely try it on uh, on Monday for sure. But I'll download it today. Seems like a cool little game. Not sure what's going on with the spoon here. Let's just let's just move on. Let's move on. To other things. I'll leave humankind the last because spoon likes to talk about that one. Let's just move on. See if spoon comes back. Well, I'll just move through the rest of these. And if spoon doesn't end up coming back or is having more problems, maybe we'll just stop for today and we'll find another time to do this podcast. Okay, let's talk about Twitch. So. Twitch is updating how they're handling the 350 sub uh, needed for the Partner Plus, Plus program. So just as a reminder, the Partner Plus program was a program that they added because everybody hated what they did with the 50-50 split on subscriptions. So they added a Partner Plus program for any any partners to get, um, get access to the 70-30. They had to hit about 350 subscribers and that count did not um that didn't count prime subs so if you did a prime sub it didn't count towards your towards that number so what this is doing is this is basically allowing tiers of subs to count more towards the partner plus program so before it was just a one-to-one -one, everything was one-to-one -one. now if somebody tier three subs they get six points so you could imagine now if somebody decided, and let's just take the case of tier two. If everybody tier two subbed, you you wouldn't need 350. Now you'd only need like 370, uh, 375. No, I'm not 175, not 370. What am I talking about? You only need 175 tier two subs because now they're two points. And so by allowing the tier two and tier three sub to count more, it's going to give you that maybe that much closer to the 350. Um, it was reiterated. I think that prime subs still don't count. So for partners, this effectively means that you need 59 tier three subscribers to unlock the 7030 for an entire year. It's, signif it's significantly easier to upsell existing subscribers than it is to onboard, which I, I'm, I, like, I think for partners, that's true. I think for anybody else, that's just false as hell it's it's partners only i think that that's true i don't know where that's coming from for everybody else i i can't imagine i can't imagine that's the case for everybody else and i'm i'm just talking to spoon by the way real quick and do oh well i was just messaging you yeah if you're still having problems i was just going to mention do you want to just pause this and maybe do it tomorrow uh, or do it a different time. Like, I am I just want to be super clear. I'm free today and tomorrow completely. So just let me know if it starts happening again. Well, obviously, yeah. we can just pause it, restart yeah. tomorrow. No big deal. I, I, I skipped over Sea of Stars a bit because I think we were just talking about other game reviews and how they were. everything was reviewing well. I'm, I'm going to get the uh, Sea of Stars on Game Pass, by the way. I'm going to get it, like, today because I'm just sitting around today. And I might play it Monday because I'm going to be doing like this really long stream Monday. So yeah. I'm just talking about the partner, uh, the partner plus program uh, changes to get into partner plus. So just talking about how tiers are uh, tiers of subs now count for more points. So tier two counts for two tier three counts for six, which I don't want to make a comment on the math there. But I mean, the idea being that tier three is going to get you gets you to that next part to get you to partner plus much faster which i think i i think should be the case to be fair and there was a comment here that um it's it is significantly easier to upsell an existing subscriber than to onboard a new one um i was just saying that i think if you're a partner that's true i think for everybody else that's not true yeah i think if you're an affiliate it is not easy it's it's i mean it's it's much easier to get somebody to prime sub to you as a as an affiliate just to be i think clear on that um 
I, but the, the math on that being, you only need 59 tier three subscribers to unlock 7030 for an entire year, which again, for a partner, I think is much easier. I think that's much easier to do for a partner that has like any sort of traction. Like small partners, I still think are going to have a hard time. Um, so anyway, there wasn't much else to say other than prime subs still do not count. So you really got to, I think for partners after this, um, after when, when this, oh wait, it is being retroactively counted to include July and August. Okay. So today I think you're going to get more partners talking about, please give me a tier two or tier three sub Yeah, for sure. that aren't like massive already. Because they're going to be like, hey, like, I, I appreciate the tier one sub that's not prime, but if you get me a tier two, it like helps, it supports me even more. Like, and they'll probably explain this. So anyway, that was, that was about it for, for the partner plus changes. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, rare, rare W for Twitch. They're actually helping, helping people out a little more with this one. I don't know how yeah. popular tier two and tier three subs are, especially on the, the lower tier streamers who are yeah. like working towards this, but you know, as you said, it's, it's an option and it's something they can like advertise and say like, Hey, if you like bump your, bump yourself up to tier two, you know, that's even better. And tier three actually gives you like m even more, even value more than... gives so, you a like, where it should be, you know, a tier three should be what it's 25, right? So it should be five X. It should be like five X a tier one, but it's six. It's six, it's six X. X. X that, so which you're getting you're slightly getting more, extra yeah. value out of the out of the tier three obviously you know don't sub tier three if you can't afford it that's 25 bucks a month is not is not that's cheap. a lot um, like really that's a lot that's that's like 25 is a lot i mean if somebody can do one, it maybe for one once, streamer <laughs> for one streamer like that's a lot tier like tier one is five tier two is ten 10, tier I think, three is twenty five. I think it's twenty five. I think it's twenty five. That's crazy. I I have a. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I, I think tier three is just a rip off in many cases for the viewer. What do you get for tier three? You get an emote. You get one. I, I think it's just a huge. Yeah. Rip -off. No. I but, mean it. It it is for sure. I mean. The the best value is definitely tier one. It's just you tier get one. Ad, you you get you get a huge suite of emotes. You get at you get ad free on that stream. Like right. tier two and tier three is like not that big of an upgrade. Which, um, Twitch needs the, Twitch should fix that. I think Twitch should actually that you, fix that. The benefits that you get, but that I I think that's on Twitch more than the streamer to fix that. I think that's on Twitch. Yeah. Twitch needs to well, find a way to get a streamer more features to more, be accessible for tier two and three more more value out right of tier two and three they they need to find a way to get them more value i i've all i think yeah. i said this before too but i've always thought tier two and tier three subs are, are a ripoff if you're a viewer for the streamer yeah. obviously tier, you're, you're supporting the streamer so tier whatever two is like i can see it it's like all right it's it's obviously it's more expensive and i agree right. you don't get enough out of it for yep. like double double the price right but you know, it's ten. It's ten bucks a month. Plenty of people can afford that. Twenty five bucks a month is a lot. Like it's a lot. that is a I, that is a lot. Yeah, I think. You know? I, I do think that's a lot. I I think it's. I think Twitch just needs to figure that out. Twitch's big thing. There we didn't add this, but apparently they're shutting down moments because mm -hmm. they're like not enough people use it. And I think there are actually plenty of creators out there using it that are really upset about this. Um, and Twitch is so funny. They're like, ah, eh, nobody's using it gone we're shutting it down it. yet they keep adding on to guest star there was a yeah, joke too about really moments shutting it. down somebody said what about guest i think we need more guest star features don't we and i'm like does anybody use guest star are we using that like maybe like five people use that is that like a feature that people use twitch or i i don't know like twitch is yeah, funny how know. they do things but that was like i didn't add that because i forgot about it but this is a good thing for twitch no doubt it's a good thing for the streamer and it's good that twitch did this it makes way more sense to have this be the way it works than just one-to-one -one for everything yeah, so for 
for sure. At least you get you get something a little more right. out of a tier two and tier three towards the the partner plus thing, which is so. how it should work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how it should work. Anyway. So yeah, we'll, we'll give we'll give Twitch a, a little a little W a little props a little for one. actually actually Tiny doing one. something the way it should be. Tiny dub. Okay.